Okay, folks, welcome to Coffee and Revelation on a very wet Thursday afternoon in Sydney. And uh, we are, as we're, as we're going through this book, let me try to explain uh, again a little bit what we're doing. It's, it's how does this apply to our culture? Now, what we're going to look at today is something I'm calling the politician's lament. And, uh, you know, sometimes you look and you think, I wish someone would deal with that politician. And you, you see how, you know, in a sense, what goes around comes around. And here is just a, a tremendous thing. Now, tomorrow we're going to look at the merchant's lament. And on Monday, I think we'll look at the, the sailor's lament. Uh, so there's a lot of lamenting here, but you'll see why. And I hope that you find it helpful. And again, thanks to those who've been in touch. Um, Revelation 18, verse 9, when the kings of the earth who committed adultery with her and shared her luxury see the smoke of her burning, they will weep and mourn over her. Terrified at her torment, they will stand far off and cry, woe to you, woe to you, great city, you mighty city of Babylon. In one hour, your doom has come. Those who have got their power due to giving to Babylon, they've tied in with Babylon. Now, I cannot help think of here in Australia of the Premier Dan Andrews, who again has come on with his anti-Christian hatred and, and, you know, his abuse of power. It really is quite astonishing. And here I'm not making a political point and I don't care if he's Labour or Liberal or Green or whatever. That's not the issue. The issue is how power is being uh, used and abused. And that was certainly true in Babylon's day. Now, what John does in Revelation 18, or what the vision that's given to him, is a reflection of Ezekiel 26 and 27. It's the prophecy against Tyre of the merchants and traders. And we'll see that again tomorrow. All who live at the coastlands are appalled by you. This is Ezekiel 27, 35. Their kings shudder with horror and their faces are distorted with fear. The merchants among the nations scoff at you. You've come to a horrible end and will be no more. I think the rulers here, they become despondent when they see Babylon falling. Um, now, perhaps that's an echo of, of Sodom's destiny in Genesis 19, 28. Remember how the, the smoke went up from her? Um, perhaps Edom in Isaiah 34 as well. So again, and with Revelation, what we're noticing is just how much of it is dependent on the Old Testament. But these political rulers, these kings are depressed, they are, they are desperately sad because of the fall of Babylon, because it means the loss of their economic standing and their power. It's, the awe expressed here is not just the severity of the judgment. Look at that, you, they shared with her luxury. Now, the Roman Empire, for example, the Roman Empire lived in grotesque luxury while many people were in abject poverty. But also the sudden, look at it, they, they stand for off. In one hour, your doom has come. In one hour. You can spend decades, decades, building up a political power base or building up a nation. You can even spend centuries. And in one hour, it's gone. In, in verse 10, where it talks about, in one hour your doom has come, I think they are aware that this is the hand of God and that they are aware that their judgment is coming as well. Perhaps also the one hour is from Daniel 4.19, uh, which refers to one hour at the time when Daniel was amazed at the vision describing Nebuchadnezzar's judgment. In fact, I'm pretty sure that that is the case. So all of that, what does it say to us? You know, we look at the powerful, we look at the kings, we look at the, the queens, we look at the great political leaders. I'm thinking of people who build up political dynasties. I'm reading, I love reading, I'm very interested in politics, as you may have gathered, and I love, I'm reading John Howard's book just now, and you, you know, I'm thinking of Maggie Thatcher when she fell. I'm thinking of Nicola Sturgeon when she will fall. Um, I'm thinking of Putin when he will fall. And it can be in one hour. It can be like that. And it's funny. So many people are putting their faith and trust in politicians. That is such a stupid thing to do. As a Christian, I respect those who are in authority over us. But I would never put my faith and trust in them. 
and especially these ones who have shared in the luxury of, of the evil empire. They weep and they mourn because they lose their power base. They weep and they mourn because they lose their wealth. And God can bring that about just like that. I think the most stunning impact I personally recall of that was uh, when I was much younger, when Ceausescu fell. Ceausescu was the absolute dictator of Romania. Within one year, okay, it wasn't one hour, but within one year, he was out of power. He was killed by his own people. And all that power and excessive wealth that he had, had gone. So this is a lament for the politicians. You are God's servants. You are to rule and to, to govern, but know that one day you will be judged for what you have done and know that all your political shenanigans and all your politicking in and out, in one hour, God can take it away from you. And I think if our politicians knew that, they'd be a lot more humble and we'd be a lot better governed. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.